four now, alhamdulillah, what a treat, four. And let's get it, you mentioned shahada. Now, not only for the people that are here, alhamdulillah, soon people will be watching this all over the globe. And some people are like, okay, because there's a lot of not yet Muslims, those people that don't know about Islam. So everybody has the potential to submit to the creator, not the creation. They heard this word shahada, shaykh. Can you tell us what, what, what does this mean when one takes the, the shahada? Uh, mashallah, the, the shahada, it literally means a, test of, a testimony. And Islamically, it, it's referring to the testification of faith. It is the first pillar of Islam, as Islam has five pillars. But the first and foremost of those five pillars is the shahada. Again, the testification of faith. Now, shahada it comes from an Arabic word which means to see, to witness. Shahid to shay'an, I saw something. But one of the unique things about the shahada, it's a testification of your belief in Allah, in your belief of the one God, although we've never seen God. But we say this word shahada, ashhadu alla ilaha illallah, which is I bear witness that I have witnessed, literally, I bear witness that I have wit that I, I bear witness in the oneness of God, even though we've never seen God. And there's an indication here that your faith should be even more powerful and stronger than what you see with your eyes. That when God has revealed something, that that takes precedence even over our senses and the things that we might know with our mind and our intellect. And most of the time anyways, the commandments are in accordance and you can reconcile it with things of logic. But at the end of the day, faith is something which is unseen. And when you say the shahada, although it literally means to see, We've never seen God, but we believe in that, and there's an indication there that what we believe is, is even stronger than what we see with, with our eyes. And the second part of the shahada is to testify that Muhammad is the messenger of God. So again, even though we've never met Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, we testify that he is the messenger. So, so we can clearly